Why do you deny yourself? That's right. Why? This is something that everyone does in society, and there's been some movements, some big social popular movements that spawned on the internet several years ago to kind of fight this. And the idea is that in the world we live in, we have to survive. You have to somehow make money so that you can eat, you can have a place to live, you can have shelter, you can have safety, all of those things. So we look for things that we enjoy doing and somehow try to find employment in those things. For many of you watching this video, it's mathematics, right? This is a math channel after all. And mathematics isn't a good example because we spend a lot of time doing math. And if you're spending a lot of time doing math, you definitely want to make sure it's something you enjoy doing, okay? So that's, that's the first thing. But even if you enjoy doing it, math is still work, right? And if you go teach and you, have, you're, you, have, you get a job as a teacher, you're still working. And so in the U.S., there's this idea that you work your whole life up to a certain age and then you retire. So we deny ourselves our entire lives until we reach this ripe old age and then we can start enjoying life. And I think that's not the correct approach. Obviously, I'm not saying you should go out and just, you know, go crazy and not work and not reach your dreams or goals. But I do believe that it's good to find a balance. And balance is something that people always promote. You know, oh, you got to find a balance, got to find a balance. And the reason I think it's good to have balance, the reason balance is good in your life, the reason it's good to work hard and have fun and not deny yourselves constantly is because you, you need a break mentally, especially for mathematics. And it's during those breaks, oftentimes, that new things come about. You know, whether you're learning a new programming language, whether you're studying mathematics, whether you're a bodybuilder or a runner, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, my left turn is coming up very soon, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, having balance is, is necessary. Now, there are, there are times where you have to break the balance, especially to get through really hard math classes or learn hard things or do hard things. You know, if, if you want to get extraordinary results in anything you do in life, you have to try to take extraordinary actions, right? I mean, it makes sense, right? If, if, if you just want to be average, then, then you do average things. But if you want extraordinary results, well, typically that would make sense that you need to do extraordinary things. So study like crazy. That's a good example, right? If you want to do better than everyone else in your class, if you want to be above average, you have to work harder. So you have to deny yourself some of that time and use it towards your work, which is you know college or school or whatever it is you're doing. Here's my left turn. I don't want to miss it. I'm out in the country and going out to a place where I probably will not have cell phone signals. So this is going to be a fun trip. I'm actually driving out here to film some stuff for my other YouTube channel, The Internet Sorcerer. So make sure to subscribe to that. Anyways, back to this, denying yourself. So it's something we all do. And I think that finding a balance in your life is key. So if you're, if you're taking a math class or two or three, you know, it's, it's important to create that balance because it'll keep you from burning out. Now, again, you might have to break it sometimes, right? Because you have to do whatever it takes. But normal circumstances would indicate that, you know, you study a little bit every day. You know, study a little bit every day and you could do it. And, and, and you don't have to study all the time, especially if you do it every day. That's the thing. It's oftentimes during those moments of you know, where you have rest periods that you're actually able to learn the information better. I had this friend in graduate school. He was from, oh, where was he from? I think he was from Iran, uh, Iran. I think it was somewhere in the Middle East. And uh, he was really cool. He was really smart. This guy was really good at math. He was better than I was, okay? He was, um, his math skills were better. We started at the same time, but he was much better at um, measure theory. He knew a lot more measure theory than I did. Uh, he was just a really solid math guy. Anyways, one day we were talking 
and he was telling me how some of his best ideas, got another left turn coming up, came from washing dishes. Like he, he would be washing dishes or doing laundry and, and that's when his best ideas would come. And the same is true for me, you know, I'll, I'll do some math and I'll go for a run or a walk and I'll, I'll get an idea or sometimes you're in the shower and you have an idea, you know, it's those, it's those shower thoughts <laughs> that sometimes can lead to, to big changes. So yeah. So I think the, the key takeaway from this video should be to stop denying yourself, right? It's, it's okay to have a little bit of fun, but at the same time, it's, it's important to study. It's important to work towards your goals every single day, because if you can get into that routine, if you can get into that pattern of working hard consistently every day, it's going to keep you from burning out if you don't overdo it. And you can allow yourself to enjoy some of the other things you enjoy doing in life and not burn out. I think it's going to be a better, a better approach. And I'm out of stop sign. Make a left here. So yeah, that's the key takeaway. Balance. Try to find balance in everything you do. And that way it just makes life better, right? So what do you think about denying yourself? There's this movement on the internet. I talked about that. It's called the, uh, the fire movement. I remember when that started. I remember some of the early bloggers. Uh, some of them are no longer around. Uh, some of them are still around and they're a lot bigger. Uh, they've, they've done really well. They became you know, multimillionaires on the internet with their blogs. It was the, uh, it's called the fire movement. I forget what it stands for. I should know this because I was, you know, I remember when it started. Um, financial independence, retire early maybe. And, and that's really where the motivation for this video came from because I was, I was watching something else and I was thinking about how people deny themselves. You know, there's people who, who will do math for 14 hours a day and there's nothing wrong with that. If you enjoy it, you should embrace it. But I, I just, it doesn't matter how much you like something, right? If you're doing something for 10, 12 hours a day, you're gonna burn out. I mean, unless maybe you're like, Paul Erdos. Paul Erdos was this uh, uh, Hungarian mathematician who would go door to door and he would knock on people's doors and, and he would say, my mind is open. And I, I think he would stay with other mathematicians and he would sleep at their houses. And he was absolutely obsessed with math. I, I really think that the guy uh, must have done mathematics every single day, several hours a day. I mean, that was, that was his entire life. And he produced a lot of beautiful mathematics. I've, I've read some of his proofs. I actually have a discrete math book that uh, has a proof by Paul, by Paul Erdosh in it as an example. It's the one by, uh, by Balakrishnan, who's a great Indian uh, author and mathematician. Uh, I believe it's VK Balakrishnan. Yeah, amazing Indian mathematician. And in one of his books, he has a proof by Erdosh. And anyways, I digress. My point is that most normal people need breaks. So. If you're watching this video and you feel like you're doing everything and you're working hard, it's okay to have a little bit of fun, but yeah, try to find a balance. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsourcer.com. So check them out. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website because uh, it helps me, it helps me a lot. So, and plus I lowered the prices. So yeah, you get a good deal, hopefully, if you uh, click those links. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.